Okay, guys. Hello. <clears throat> okay. So weird. Not weird. Weird. I always say that if you know that about me. It's like things are weird. No weird. Not weird. I have not used my pendulum forever. Pulled out my pendulum to pick the next card. I have been just drawing one of these Zodiac cards um, by shuffling. I was like, you know what? Let's see what the pendulum has. And it went crazy over your card. Um, Pisces. So Pisces, there is definitely something really happening here. Sorry guys, I should have took a vape before we started this video. But I, um, bear with me. <clears throat> okay, I'm doing a Celtic cross. I'm also pulling a, um, I am clarifying these videos are long. If you don't have time to watch a long video, um, this video probably is not going to be a good video for you. Come back and watch it when you have time. All right, Pisces. So I'm getting a tarot card um, right away. This is a from the Crystal um, Power Tarot. And it has a little affirmation on it. And this is kind of like an overall energy of what's going on kind of right now. It has a little affirmation that might be helpful. And it also has a crystal that might be helpful. So um, let's go ahead and look and see what we get for you, Pisces. Ooh, I am feeling quite a different energy with you guys than with uh, Capricorn um, came out first. But I let the pendulum do the work this time. So I didn't have to, just all I had to do is watch. Okay, so here it is. Three of Pentacles, Malachite. When I show my work, others give support. There could be something you're either not showing to people um, because you're afraid you're not going to be supported. Um, actually, this is kind of, and then Four of Wands. Oh my gosh, you guys. Um, you're afraid you're not going to be supported or you haven't been supported in the past or something. And Spirit's coming and saying, the universe brings all I need to feel blissful. This is about feeling good, feeling balanced, feeling happy. This could involve a marriage. This could involve a celebration, um, something like that. This could be even like an actual holiday or something. Um, but it's like, when I show my work, others give support. So it's like really putting yourself into something. So the question here could be, do I put myself into this or not? Or um, am I going to have everything I need to do this? Yes, of course you are. If it's coming from your heart and you're passionate about it, go for it. Um, although, in Capricorn's reading, it said, wait, you got some, a little thinking to do here on this. So, um, actually, we are, I'm getting in the, we're doing the Celtic cross here. I'm trying to make these as quick as possible, but it's just, when the messages come, they come, guys. So, um, let's see where you're at here in the middle. And then we'll see what kind of is helping or hindering or... your energy right now we know you're the three of pentacles so it could be about work it could be about working with people um working on something um that's really important to you and will require you to actually give yourself to it <clears throat> like totally commit to it um maybe even study um really just really put a lot of work into but it isn't really work because with the three of pentacles it's like you're it's you it's something that's that you're needed for too. Like it's something that kind of your specialty. Let's put it that way. So let's see. There we go. And we got the high priestess. Yes, this is, you are in whew, right away coming out with the high priestess. You are in, you are in the depths of your psyche. You are really, you could be really, you could be pulling cards. You could be using crystals. You could be talking to spirit, you know, get help and get guidance here from your higher self asking for this. Um, let's see what is uh, crossing this here. The nine of pentacles. Oh, this is about hard work. <clears throat> Excuse me, Pisces. This is about being happy about the work you're doing. 
there's something you're doing for yourself probably um, that makes you feel uh, really good. Or like I said at the beginning, this can, everything has more than one story, you guys. Or it could be something you really know you want to be a part of, you want to contribute to, that you aren't doing, that you know would make you very happy and actually help grow you and help not just grow you, also grow your environment. Um, and you would, there's a, a feeling of self-satisfaction with the Nine of Pentacles. And it isn't, it doesn't come from somebody else. The Nine of Pentacles have that kind of um, security, financial security, um, independence, that kind of stuff comes from you, you doing the work, you um, putting in the, the work and showing who you are to others and getting support. And then there, therefore it makes you happy and feel accepted to be exactly who you are. Um, that is the message I'm getting from that. So it's in the red here. I was going to take a break from doing readings and then today I'm sitting there trying to take a break and it just keeps, keeps at me. Like, you know what? Get some readings done because these are going to be long. The Empress, yeah, feeling abundant, nurturing something that you, working hard for something. But it's not actually doing the work. It's more like, okay, what, I, what I'm feeling here is there is, you're working. There's something here that is bringing you abundance that you want to put yourself into or you are putting yourself into. Um, you're nurturing it. You're taking care of it. Maybe that's your gift there. You show your work. Um, but it's... It's about, also with the Empress here, this can be about family, a mother, or being a mother also, like mothering yourself, or also just, <sighs> okay, so a lot of my readings are about like doing the the kind of self-work and stuff. Here with the Empress in the bottom, I feel like you feel like you have everything you need. Or you could feel like I'm afraid I'm not going to have everything I need, but you do. Because you got the Nine of Pentacles here. That's you. That's not getting it from somebody else. That's getting it from yourself. Nurturing yourself. Taking care of your business and what it is you want to show to people. And then understanding that by showing that, you will get support from those around you. And it will build something good. And it will build something great. Um, this is really good energy, Pisces. This is really nice. Let's see what was happening kind of before this here. Mm, we got two cards, two of swords, a choice, and the two of wands, another choice, you guys, something you're passionate about, something you thought about, something you might even have had to kind of make a head over heart decision, or vice versa, follow your heart, um, something here, you, you've made a choice to take care of yourself, to nurture yourself, um, maybe to understand that there's there's a really good energy here of making this wow i can't believe both these twos came out like this uh, i can but it's just still gets me even after doing so many of these readings i'm like whoa the two of wands and the two of swords it's just oh my gosh like you were feeling like oh i gotta make a choice here i gotta decide whether to do this whether to take this opportunity um and to to invest myself in something in a group or a job or, and it's going to make me happy. And there's something here um, about nurturing. And it's like, yes, I want, to, I want to do this. I want to see what comes out of this. I want to create this. So you've really, I feel like, in a way, made a choice to kind of self-love, take care of yourself, show yourself just exactly as you are. And it's creating good things, I feel like. Let's see what's uh, crowning. Wow. Two of Swords. Coming to, you know, kind of being in a peaceful place, trying to decide which way to go. Maybe, maybe even making some um, decisions about doing some work on yourself. I am feeling that, and you followed you. You're following your guidance on this. There's something that said, "Hey, you need to work on your like." Could be self worth. Could be knowing that you have something to contribute to something. No, and knowing that it'll make you happy to just give that to yourself. I am feeling that. Like mothering yourself. And then we got that page of swords. And that is that new way of thinking. And that is that empress energy right below here. It's like you started thinking. what This is, this is helping you. This is helping you a new way of thinking about the mother 
energy in yourself and the mother energy that you've ever like ever perceived or thought of as like mothering and nurturing and taking care of what you need to take care of to be abundant to work on yourself um this is really strong energy if you haven't been going through this this is what energy you're kind of um, if this is your story, if it isn't, don't make it fit. But if it is, there's a lot of work being done here on accepting that there's, there's oh, this really nurturing and creative part of you that can create anything for yourself. And you don't need other people to contribute to that, but they will. They will because they'll see you doing the work. So then before they start doing the work, this also speaks to me about, um, I always think about a really, okay, so the Empress doesn't, like to a lot of readers, probably doesn't come across as a leader. But to me, she does. Because she leads by showing the world what can happen when you believe in something and when you take care of something. When you take care of something and you believe in it, stuff happens. And it's, and you, all of a sudden people want to support you. And you got all of a sudden what you need. Like, this is exciting energy I'm feeling here, Pisces. Um, so let's see. Coming in here. This is nice. Um, whoop. and we got the Ten of Chalices. Complete happiness. Oh, wow. You're going to, and the Fool, trusting, taking a leap of faith, a new beginning, starting something. You may have started doing something. Well, you definitely started thinking about something differently. About yourself, probably. Or maybe this is a motherly figure in your life or you nurturing um, what it is you needed to nurture in the first place, which is yourself and your high priestess told you that or is telling you that. And this all this good happiness comes from just taking care of yourself and trusting that these good things are going to come in for you. Have trust that if you're doing the work, which is the nine of pentacles, you are doing the work here on the earth. You are putting your true nurturing energy into what you're doing. And you, there, there's just, maybe you were contemplating, I don't know if I want to put my nurturing energy into something. I have to make a choice. And you did. You made a choice. I feel like, or you are, and it's to contribute to something you truly want to help build. And it's when I show my work, others give support. And work doesn't just mean physical work, you guys. It means energetic work too, spiritual work, mental work. When you start to do the work, other people notice that and they want to become a part of that. They want to help contribute what they can to that. You know, nobody wants to see somebody doing the best they can and not, I mean, there is people, I guess, that do, but like most of the time, they don't want to sit and not do, not help, not contribute. Like, you know, it's really nice. So let's see how you're feeling inside, Pisces. Uh, this is really pretty clear. It's such a positive message. I don't even think I'm going to clarify this, actually. Because so far it's coming out very, we'll see. But then inside, Ten of Swords. You are feeling inside that this, there's a new beginning. The full energy, it's coming. You know that there's a big end to a lot of, and I feel like this is a lot of mental um, anguish within yourself about maybe things that have happened in your life that have left you feeling um, beat up, stabbed in the back, hurt. Um, Maybe this is stuff you've done to yourself or others or others have done in your life. But it's been like an accumulation of years and years of probably this. Or at least, you know, it, and I always, with the tens, you know, it could be a year, could be 10 years. I don't know. You, only you're going to know how long, like, this has went on. Or you've been in this mental place of going, I just, bad things just keep happening. You know, maybe it's because you weren't nurturing yourself properly and people weren't, um, you and you I do believe in taking responsibility for when we're down like this, but this comes from other things too. Just conditionings and the way we were raised and maybe things that people didn't realize they were even doing to hurt us, but did. And having to mentally like release ourselves from that. Um, and, and I feel like inside you're feeling like, yes, I'm at the end of that. Like this is the end of that. I'm getting back up and I'm fighting for me. I'm taking care of me. I'm doing the work and I'm nurturing what I want to to nurture and what I know can grow here because I'm being because I'm being a nurturing and contributing my true self. So there is something really nice here, Pisces. I really love 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 this reading so far. 
and that page of swords, that new way of thinking, a new clarity, something, a whole kind of new way of like kind of looking at things I feel like you've gotten. It's like out of these 10 swords, you kept one, the one that made sense to you, the one that nurtured you, not the one that hurt you, you know, it's just interesting. All right. And the tower. So yeah, it's creating a lot of changes around you. There's tons of changes happening around you. Um, if it isn't happening around you right now, who aren't observing this, people could be even looking at you like this. Like, whoa, it's like completely different. Like there's something completely getting wiped out here and creating something new and contributing to something um, maybe before where you weren't and now you are. Um, or in it, in the tower to me isn't, especially in this reading, isn't bad. It's actually a good thing. It's like something's being built differently this time. Even if it's your building, um, so, uh, maybe a relationship, maybe work, maybe family, maybe just yourself, your mind, your body, your spirit, your creativity, your focus, your like whole, the way you put yourself into things, I feel like is completely, um, Re, you're re rebuilding you are creating a different um a different way you contribute to things it, different energy you're bringing to the table which therefore will um show others you know this is what happens when you take care of yourself and it's going to help change and and inspire others to support not only your efforts but themselves too um, I do feel like this is a really nice energy. So let's see what is the justice, fairness, balance. This is your hopes and fears that this is going to balance something out um, and that it's going to balance the tables here. It's going to make things better. Um, it feels like maybe there, and if it's a fear, it's like, oh, that something will be like not fair or you'll put all this work in and maybe not get the help you need to, um, where's that four of wands again? And, or not, like maybe even you've put in a lot of work, saving a marriage or or making it or creating a celebration or just being happy. You know, this is the universe brings all I need to feel blissful. So, you know, justice. It's like maybe you haven't been happy because there was something you weren't honestly working on, which I feel like was yourself. Like, and now you're doing that work and it's feeling like much better, much more balanced. And then the sun, you guys, you have such an awesome reading. Oh my gosh, the sun. It's beautiful. That's happiness. That's clarity. That's seeing everything clearly. Like, I get it. Like, there's a new perception here coming from all this mixed up mental pain and anguish from others, from yourself. And you're coming out of that. You got this full energy, this 10 of chalices coming in. That's complete emotional happiness. And trusting it. Trusting it. That, that it's there for you. It's yours. And you are going to show your work. And that is, that can also be making you very happy that you're showing this. And this is really nice, you guys. I like, love this energy. Let's see what's on the bottom. The star, healing. You could have been doing a lot of healing work or this is, whoo, this is really nice. And you're doing what is being guided. You are following your guidance, I feel like. That is really nice, you guys. Whoo, I don't even need to um, clarify that. It's just so nice. Like, wow. Awesome. So let's see here, Pisces. We're going to get a couple oracles just for um, some extra guidance. Um, I don't feel like there's anything really bad here. The Rainmaker, 42. I feel like this is all really, really good energy. I'm loving it. And let's get, and I will read these oracles, you guys. Um, it's really nice. Really good energy. Whatever you're doing, Pisces, if this is your story, keep it up. Because it's, it's bringing in a lot of security, happiness, clarity, justice. Maybe you're, that's what you're, maybe you started doing this because you felt like you were being unfair to yourself or you weren't contributing to something or, you know, or you wanted, you wanted somebody or something to help you, but you weren't even helping yourself. Something like that. It could very well be. Death and rebirth, darkness to light. Yes, I'm feeling this like darkness to light. Look at this. Inside, you're at the end of this 
whole a bunch of mental um oh, confusion and pain and just feeling beat up you know to going and feeling like usually the sun you know it has that baby on it or whatever the traditional but to me this is feeling safe secure like nobody can hurt you now because you are doing you aren't depending on anybody to do that work for you you're doing it you're trusting happiness is coming your way and the more you are yourself the more you feel supported and if you don't feel supported empress don't care okay like honestly the empress knows if somebody doesn't want to help her build what's beautiful and create what's beautiful there'll be somebody else that does that's the empress energy i hate to say it but that's how she she that's how that energy comes across it's like i'm beautiful and i am worthy of happiness and i'm worthy of a new beginning here and I'm worthy of all this. And I've shown myself that. So now um, I've shown my work. And I, you expect others to contribute. And when they don't, it, you don't let it take you away from what you're working on. But you don't. it doesn't give you the loss of hope either. Because you are the creator. You create it with your energy. That's beautiful. Um, really nice. Uh, let's get one of these here. The Rainmaker, Death and Rebirth. I am feeling that cleansing and that new cycle here. It also, 19 adds up to that 10. You have the Ten of Chalices coming in. The Ten of Swords that you're just now finishing up inside. Um, and then this Rainmaker, which is like, yeah. Could be really, really a cleansing energy going through here. And then we have the Star over here, which is also cleansing and following your guidance and just getting back into your energy and reflecting pool stillness actually i should have put the rainmaker up here okay there we go and then the death and rebirth and then the reflecting pool yeah nice Okay, so we're going to read these real quick, guys. We have the Rainmaker 42, and it did come out upright, so we're going to read it upright. This is one of the Oracle decks that does have a reversal meaning called the Medicine. Um, but we're reading the Essence, and the Invitation is um, here. The Rainmaker is the Master of Manifestation. <clears throat> That's that Empress energy, Master of You're manifesting, you're built. It's not even necessarily manifesting because you're creating with your own energy. Like, it's amazing. Not tools. It's like you don't even need tools because people just, it just comes in. It's just birthed. It just happens. It's because they want to be there. Because it's an attractant. It's an attractive um, environment and energy to be around the Empress. Because it's everybody longs for the mother. Everybody longs for comfort. Um, it doesn't mean, you know, there wasn't times where... Uh, you know, being that person in people's lives didn't um, pay off. But only when you're expecting somebody to, um, when you don't expect anything in return and you just do it because you know it'll grow it. Whether they appreciate it or not doesn't matter. You know it's helped grow something. You know it's contributed to the environment around you or to somebody else's growth. And I feel this so much. Um, I love this. Oh, this is really good. The Rainmaker is master of manifestation who can call on the elements of nature to serve the greater good. When the power to co-create is used with integrity, great beauty and benefit flow to all. When this power is used for personal gain only, and that's what I was just talking about, that Empress energy. If she does it because she just wants to take care of her, which isn't, that's unbalanced. That's distorted feminine energy. That's distorted mother energy. That's um, not doing it for the right reasons which is to see the things grow around you to be to make the world a more beautiful place that's the empress the rainmaker is calling you to create something new from the elements that are already in your life be sure you work with what is and not with what might be or could have been yeah don't not looking at what could have been and what didn't work not looking at oh are they going to help me do this or build this or create this when you show the work when you contribute to something, it'll come. Just trust that. And I feel like you are going to trust that. With the full energy here and the Ten of Chalices, I feel like if you're happy and you're work, doing the work and you're seeing this a new way and that happiness is coming in and you're trusting that it, it's just going to come together. There's just really something beautiful here. <sighs> 
I love it. Be sure you work with what is and not with what might be or could have been. The seeds that have been silently germinating in your heart will burst forth ready for the sunlight. Ooh, and we got the sun up here, that sunlight coming in. I love it. Do not hold back. Put all your chips on the next roll of the divine dice. Mm, I love it. That is nice. I feel like, oh, and my heart chakra is just feeling like, oh, nice. My solar plexus is feeling good. But it's also like, oh, uh -uh. it's like excited. Like I'm feeling excited for um, this, this energy. It's nice. I have Pisces in my chart. So this is a really nice writing, uh, reading for Pisces. And I'm, of course, it's making me feel like super happy and good um, about it. So uh, the sacred forest. Well, actually, first we're going to read this. Priestess 119. This card indicates that a time of closure and great transition is at hand. This may seem like a relatively minor event or it may be something big like the ending of a relationship, a job, or a long-time residence. Remember, however, that this card signifies important change. Even out of the most difficult experiences or the deepest darkness comes a new life filled with light and unexpected blessings. The Black Panther. Did I, I don't know if I showed you guys that, but this is it. Oh, the Black Panther uh, is a symbol of power through transformation. Although the Panthers here are intense, they bring the mystical message that you have the power to let go of your fear of the unknown. When you do so, you will come out of the darkness, enlightened, and wake up to newly conscious life. The Panther Priestess, dressed in white, comes to tame the difficult energies within this transition. She carries the antler totem icon of clear perception. And that's this Page of Swords, too, coming in. And this, oh man, something really coming to light here, you guys. Ooh, she carries that antler totem, icon of clear perception, and she directs you to open your awareness to the new opportunities, the new opportunities um, coming your way. Any change that may present itself should be considered from a spiritual point of view. Look within. Whether you're dealing with a lost job or the shifting or ending of a relationship, there is a deeper message or lesson in the experience. Trust in yourself and in your future, for you are stronger and more resourceful than you realize. And the Empress is very resourceful and she makes the best of everything in, that she has. And that is a lesson in itself. Um, I love it. Your personal power is charged with the energy of your eternal spirit. It will light the darkness and carry you forward into a truly wonderful new life. Affirmation. I turn to my eternal soul for power and direction. I fearlessly face the future. Yeah, there could be some big changes going on. And maybe you're starting to see clearly that um, there's something just by being yourself and nurturing what you have coming here that's just bringing happiness. And you just have to trust in the process here. Um, with this tower, something big is changing here. There could be something falling away from your life, something leaving your life. But that's okay because you are the empress. You're realizing this. That's wonderful. You're realizing the, the extreme nurturing power you have to make even the most uh, tiniest seed grow into the biggest um, forest, really. It's really nice. And let's read this reflecting pool. 33, 19, 42. 33. Stillness. As you stand on the soft moss at the edge of the forest pool, you can see your own reflection. A soft breeze ripples the surface. Your image wavers and shifts only to return as the air becomes still. In the quietude of this moment, you tap into an internal source of your power. You watch as your reflected image transforms into the highest form of you. What beauty and grace. In stillness, your power emerges. And that is the still energy of the Empress also, you guys. It's being still. It's seeing what what is there and available to make grow and doing that and trusting that it's bringing you happiness to um, just show yourself and be yourself and work on what it is you're working on and not have any really expectations of what's going to grow. Just know it is. If you are in pain, go oh, in profound peace and stillness. You can discover the truth of your being. 
If you are in pain, go into the stillness until you find the source. Resist the temptation to indulge in feelings of overwhelm, urgency, and emergency. There is always a higher truth. Seek it out. Your soul loves what is real and honest. Nice. In quietude, the truth emerges. Move past the bustle and chatter of life into sweet stillness. Allow the chaos of the outer world to roll off your back the way water rolls off the back of a duck. Surrender to it. Seek solitude to hear the voice of spirit, and serenity will follow. The spirit of the reflecting pool says, In silence, you'll find the dwelling place of your soul. Take time to move into quietude, and you'll uncover a vast store of insight emerging within you. In ongoing situations in your life, hold back, take time to reflect before responding. I like that. Not being too um, impulsive in the way you think and handle things. Really just sitting and being still and seeing what the universe is giving you. And I mean, it's just, there's, you've done a lot of, I feel like there's a lot of work been done and it, things are coming in and you need to like really take those things and build something beautiful with what, what you have, which is, looks like a lot of good stuff. So I'm just looking on the bottom guys, since we didn't clarify your, um, cards, uh, the ancient ones, and this is about the ancestors and guides. Um, and you know what, I'll just go ahead and it was reversed, but we'll just see it's number one. Why not? And I'll just read the short thing for it, you guys, but I hate to give you guys such a short reading, but it's so good. I don't want to, I don't need to add anything to it. It's just nice the way it is. Um, the ancient ones are in, oh wait, the ancient ones beseech you to examine your attitudes and actions to be sure that they are the highest integrity. Not forgiving an ancestor or yourself is could be keeping you from the freedom you seek. Remember, there is no longer your it is no longer your remember this is no longer your karma. You can break the chains that once bound you to the family drama and be free of your generational curses. Forgive the ones you need to release. Honor your biological ancestors by lighting a candle for them tonight. Oh, that kind of makes me feel like maybe an ancestor or something may have come through and is saying, hey. You know, you carried this of mine, and now it's time to um, light a candle in honor of what you've learned from not only the karma that you might have received through this this mother. It could be a mother wound that you've healed, that you're seeing new, new different. Um, there's something here really big with this ancestor. Um, and then we got miracles, ancient wisdom, and we had those the ancient ones, the ancestors, um, the ancient ones, ancient wisdom. I feel like there's something here really, really powerful with that. Eagle spirit, freedom. And we are going to um, miracles, ancient wisdom. Let's look here. 39. The affirmation is I receive and accept the wisdom and power of the ancient societies. Truly exciting miracles are appearing in my life. This card tells you that you now have the ability to approach your life in this profoundly aligned way. You are moving into a time when miracles of every nature can be manifested. In fact, they are your birthright. Great accomplishments are yours when you let go of the striving and open yourself to the ancient wisdom, quietly filtering through that part of your consciousness connected to the eternal truths. Oh, I do love that. And then we're going to go ahead and just read the little short part of the Eagle Spirit. And then I keep looking at the picture and not the number. 13. This is a nice reading, Pisces. So I hope it resonated with someone because it is a really nice message. Eagle Spirit invites you onto her back and you dwindle in size so that you can climb on. You hold on to the down beneath her feathers as she soars higher and higher the forest looks smaller and smaller yet you can see so clearly as you ascend above the clouds you've never felt so free you have the ability to choose your life on your terms perhaps you aren't always free to create the exact circumstances of your life but you're certainly able to decide what meaning to give to those situations select meanings that empower you for this is a time to break free hold the intent of boundless freedom surges through you, and so it shall. The eagle soars to great heights, as much as 10,000 feet, and has a superb eyesight. 
allowing her to see from great distances. She can symbolize a need for a larger perspective on life. And that's what I was kind of talking about. Like, even if you contribute to something and you nurture something and you're like, eh, you know, good things are going to come out of it, even if it because you can see beyond what's just right in front of you, too. And then that high priestess energy, that's also seeing beyond what's right in front of you. It's like you're feeling this behind energy, this undercurrent. Um, it's a really tapped in psychic energy I'm getting to. Um, the spirit of the ego says, this is the time to express yourself. Don't hold back. Choose life on your terms. Don't be trapped by the expectations of others. When I show my work, others give support. Being yourself. I love it. So Pisces, that is your message. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I always appreciate your likes, your subscribes, but most of all, just coming and watching your reading. Um, I really enjoyed doing your guys' reading today. It's like really good vibes. So I hope this is happening for um, a lot of Pisces right now, and I trust that it is. Um, whether you have, and I don't put, if you have Pisces in your chart, and this resonates, feel it, and listen to it. It's really, it's, it's nice confirmation if you've been doing a lot of hard work, and you're kind of feeling like, yeah, I need to trust like the good stuff that's coming in for me because it's making me happy. Um, it's really nice. So we will talk to you guys later, and I hope you guys have a great day.